It's a story we've been tracking now for more than a year. An off-duty police officer shoots a driver during a confrontation that was partly caught on camera. Today, the victim of the shooting told his side of what happened in court. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto joins us now live in Warwick tonight with more on what happened in court today. Hi, Sheena. Well, throughout this trial, we expect to hear from several different witnesses. There was a full long day in court today, and we only heard from that teenager who was shot. A year and a half after the West Greenwich shooting, opening statements are right in front of a jury. He had no more authority in West Greenwich on Route 3 than you have or I have. I will prove to you that he shot only in self-defense, only as a last year. Resort, and only when the driver of that Audi was purposely driving directly at him. The prosecution says they'll prove off-duty Pawtucket police officer Daniel Dolan unjustly shot a teenager on June 23, 2021. The defense says Dolan thought the teenager was going to run him over with his car. Part of the interaction was caught on camera and shown in court today as the first witness, Dominic Vincent, took the stand. I remember screaming, I'm hit, I'm hit, pretty much instantly after. I, I knew what had happened instantly. I realized that I had gotten shot. Vincent was the teenager driving the Audi. Dolan told investigators he saw the car speeding on the highway, saw on his way home, and wanted to talk to the people inside, leading to the interaction caught on camera by a local pizza shop. The shooting happened shortly after. He is now next to my car and I never look at him directly while he's next to my car because I'm trying to just leave. The defense questioned Vincent on whether or not he was being truthful with investigators. Meanwhile, the state says they'll argue Dolan was next to the car when he pulled the trigger. The defense says they'll prove he was instead in front of the car. Now, Dolan was off duty at the time, but he showed his police badge. You see that in that security footage that we've been showing you. And the teenager admits he saw the badge, but he wasn't sure if it was real or not, and he was not going to stick around to find out. The trial continues tomorrow. For now, we're live in Warwick. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Testimony has wrapped up for the day in the trial of a Pawtucket police officer accused of shooting a teenager while off duty. That teen was the first witness on the stand today. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo joins us live from Kent County Court with an update now. Sheena. Well, we expect to hear from several witnesses as this trial moves forward. Today, we heard from one of them. The state and the defense seem to disagree on where exactly Daniel Dolan was standing when he pulled that trigger. Inside the Kent County courtroom, the focus is on June 23rd, 2021. That's when the state alleges off-duty Pawtucket police officer Daniel Dolan unjustly shot a teenager in West Greenwich. Dolan told authorities he saw a black Audi speeding on the highway. Today, his lawyer said he happened to take the same exit as them onto New Snake Hill Road and wanted to talk to them. That's why he went into the pizza shop's parking lot after them. Right up behind him. Shortly after that, there's a shooting. The state says they'll prove Dolan was on the side of the car when he pulled the trigger, motivated by anger, saying the kids had no idea why Dolan approached them. I submit to you that what is on his mind is a pizza pie and going out and watching the NBA with his friends. The defense, however, says Dolan was in front of the car at the time and believed he was at risk of being run over by the teenage driver. I will prove to you that he shot only in self only as a last resort. The first witness, Dominic Vincent, is the driver of the Audi, the teenager who was shot in the arm. He says he was just trying to leave what he believed to be a dangerous situation. Vincent says he remembers seeing Dolan's police badge, but didn't think it was real, and he wasn't sticking around to find out. When he said you're going to get shot, it was only a split second, but I'm like this, and I kind of went like that. During cross-examination, the defense questioned many of Vincent's answers, pushing him on how fast he was driving on the highway and questioning him on how truthful he was being with investigators. And the trial resumes here tomorrow morning, and eventually we expect to hear from state police investigators as well as people who say they witnessed part of this unfolding. 
We're live in Warwick. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.